It's one o'clock. Right about this time, this food fair was usually bussing with lunch rush hour. But for the next three months, as shopping malls are forced to have their hours of operation, Venezuelans will have to turn elsewhere for a meal, and in some cases, for work. At one o'clock, all the lights are turned off and people are asked to leave. We close everything up and go home. Now, instead of eight hours, we are working four. It's half my salary. According to government officials, the country has been hard hit by El Niño. A prolonged drought made worse by El Niño has reduced the level of water of the country's main hydroelectric dams, which the country heavily relies on for power. Electricity ration is going to be extended to other sectors. This meeting will not be held only with the owners of shopping malls. We'll be talking to hotel chains because the measures are for all to battle the effects of El Nino on water supply and generation of electricity. Among the hardest hit by the decision to reduce the opening hours of malls are movie theaters. Forced to close from 1 to 3 in the afternoon and 7 to 9 at night, theater owners are saying this is only time enough to show one film. But in one of the most violent countries in the world, catching a film is one of the few available options left to Venezuelans. It is also, for actors here, an alarming symbol of waning culture. If we turn the lights off in a country, we are taking away its culture, its arts, its voice. A friend used to say that the day that we lose the theater or the cinema is the day we impoverish the country. Boasting one of the largest hydroelectric dams in the world, Venezuela for decades exported electricity to neighboring Brazil and Colombia. Critics say that mismanagement and not El Niño is behind the power cuts. In a country that is on the brink of default and thus unlikely to invest in infrastructure, the day that movies died might also foretell that darker times lie ahead. Virginia Lopez, Al Jazeera, Caracas.